back with the man himself, Mr. John Stewart. Uh, John, John. Yeah. Uh, uh, do, do either I ask you a question right now or do go on. Can I say this about science? You can, can I say, say this anything on? you want about some of my best friends are scientists. This, and I love them, and they do such good work, but they are going to kill us all. Atomic bomb, baby, atomic bomb. Atomic bomb, because there are still people. So you have the atomic bomb, and the, if you cut the atom this way, it can power the world with electricity. And if you cut it that way, it can blow everything up. Guess which one we tried first? <laughs> like, that's just who we are. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 a couple of years ago, there was the 1918, remember the last pandemic, right? Sure, not so a bunch of scientists. Yes, I've, I've read up. I was there. Look at my beard. Uh, 1918, they, they had a sample that I guess had been in the whatever permafrost lab in the 1918. So the idea was they were going to reanimate it mm. so that they could study it. The 1918 pandemic flew. They had a little sample of it, and it hadn't been a scourge in the earth for 100 years. And they thought to themselves, what if we just, I don't know, woke it up? <laughs> and nobody in the room was like, no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Mm -hmm. But they did that. Here's how I believe the world ends. And I say this to you. Uh, uh, in, in, in sincerity. Okay. It does not end. We are a screwed up world. There's r racism, income inequality, fascism, authoritarianism, there all these horrible, horrible things. Uh, uh, natural resources that run down. Th that'll all be fine. <laughs> the world ends, the last words man utters are somewhere in a lab. A guy goes, <laughs> it worked. John Stewart, it, what, a, what, a, what an extraordinary delight to see you. I just want to say, this human contact, now you know I don't care for it. I know. But tonight, you and Dave Chappelle, I believe, sustained me during, during this period. And my, and my family. My family, and my son is here with me. My daughter is home because she just got uh, uh, her Fifth vaccine. Oh wow! We are so careful. I just before we go, I just want to leave everybody with one thing, and that, that is, I've been thinking about the 17-year cicadas. Have you been paying attention? Do you have them down where you are? The cicadas? I just yeah. assumed that that was God, something with the plague and the pandemic and the cicadas. I, I've been thinking about uh, 17 years ago, uh, in having you on. So I had our producers pull a shot of you and me from 17 no. years ago. Oh Last my time God. the cicadas were here. We looked like this. Wait. If I may, and I, I just want to say this very quickly, time appears to have ravaged one of us unequally. <laughs> there is a saying, and I say this with all due respect. Yes. There's a saying, uh, they say, black don't crack. It, it implies that black people age very gracefully. Jews age like avocado. If what happens is, I so what seen, you're seeing, wait, this is what happens when you expose a Jew to air. You oxidate it. That's right. You oxidize. oxidize. Just a, a little bit of schmutz, but you take a knife, you scrape it off, and I'm fine. You look beautiful. I love you! I love you! Please. Stewart, everybody. We'll be right back with a special performance by John Baptiste.